Hello, YouTube friends, and welcome to my channel. Today, I have another jellyfish tutorial. Um, I know that I've already released a couple, but I was commissioned to do this one, uh, so I thought, why not just video it anyway? The first one I released was on a tile, but it had horrible audio quality. Um, and then the second one was on a canvas, which has a little different feel and a little different result as well. So here we are on a tile again. Uh, this is just a hexagon ceramic tile. The tool I use here is kind of a mandala dotting tool. Uh, you can make your own with just a round marble and uh, glued a epoxy to nail there to it. Uh, so we're just going to get a layer of um, a nice dark blue. I believe this is a phthalo blue. Uh, as always, I don't know the exact colors and brands for you guys because most of my paints are pre-mixed up for very long periods of time. <clears throat> and I don't keep the empty bottles. And I don't label them because... I'm bad at that sort of thing. <laughs> so uh, I do use this um, resin spreading tool uh, to get a nice even layer of paint on my tile. Um, when you're trying to make a deliberate design, you don't want too thick of paint or it'll run all over the place. Um, so this is a metallic pearlescent white. And then I have a metallic uh, light blue. It really does help to have these little bottles for this particular project um, or some way to kind of control the amount of paint you put down. So we go and use our little dotting tool to sort of spread the paint around, making sort of the initial shape of your jellyfish's body. Kind of smooth out the edges a little bit there. And then uh, after you kind of get the general shape here, you're gonna go in with a straw and you're gonna blow it around to give it that nice silky uh, sort of jelly look to it. Easy, easy, easy. All right. So now I want to play with uh, getting it sort of looking like we've got uh, a three-dimensional look to the jelly here. And get ready to start adding our tentacles. Uh, first, I'm going to go in and remove some paint with a Q-tip here. Again, just because we want to stay in control of how much things are going to flow around. A little bit of the light metallic blue here. I'm just going to kind of squiggle that around. It is abstract, after all. And now I have off to the side a little puddle of the white metallic paint um, and some of the blue metallic paint. And I'm just dipping my dotting tool into that paint. And I'm coming in and applying it on the tile to create the tentacles. And I just keep adding. And then I'll come back in with this tool and uh, I will start to do a sort of a back and forth direction into the paint. Um, it doesn't seem like that would be a very good idea, but I found quite accidentally that it gives it a little more of a three dimensional effect and breaks up the real thick lines of the tentacles a bit and makes it look like you have a bunch more thin ones. Um, and then I just kind of keep going in and working the shape of the body here and there. Um, it's really quite a forgiving process, as you can see. And I'm dipping in the blue now and kind of using it to erase some of the lines over here that I didn't like. And now I've decided I really don't like this side at all. <laughs> Sometimes you could just leave it alone, but I never seem to. Um, so I really kind of wanted to redefine the shape of the tentacles of the jellyfish so that it didn't just look like this wild, spread out, wide set of tentacles. I wanted it to look like it had a little more movement or like it was moving or flowing through the water. So I just uh, took a sponge, as you saw there, and removed some of the blue paint on the side and uh, or some of the paint that had some extra tentacles in it and and just kind of started from scratch on that side like I said it's super forgiving 
So I just keep working it and uh, just keep going in, adding more tentacles, going in, reshaping the body. Um, yeah, as you'll see, I'm going to get some more close-up shots. I use the Q-tips often to kind of pull paint off when, when I don't like something. And I just fill it back in with the blue paint. I will try to uh, put some links down in the bottom uh, to some of the tools that I'm using here, uh, or at least ones similar that you can get the, the same results with. And again, one might think that I should just quit. <laughs> oh, but I'm not. So here we're going to come in a little bit closer so you can sort of see how I get in and work some of the details to get more of a three-dimensional realistic effect. Um, remember that this metallic white just kind of serves to look like the light is catching the, the clear iridescent part of the jellyfish. So when you want to define lines and edges, you can go in and, and use a little bit of that white in it. It seems to help accomplish that task. As you can see, I'm using the straw here again, just, you know, working on the shape that I want. Um, of course, as you go, you may decide to stop and, and uh, look at pictures of different shapes that you'll find jellies in as they're moving through the water and experiment with with how you want to shape the body and the tentacles you see in my last two videos i did of jellyfish uh i did them more on a black background which i also really really like uh, so here I'm kind of looking at it and with the camera in hand, I decide that there's some things I want to fix and I just can't keep my hands off of it. Uh, so I'm going to try, um, maybe foolishly, to sit here and hold the camera while I just go in and tweak little bits nice and up close for you to be able to see. Uh, sorry about the sort of unstable movement back and forth here. Uh, but as you can see here, I'm just dipping it in the paint on the side still moving that paint around still adding tentacles here and there still kind of adjusting the way that the the bottom portion of the body looks every now and then even messing it up a little but uh, easily going in and able to fix it by adding or subtracting more or less paint as I go I didn't like that the little glob of white there, so I just wanted to smooth it out a bit, bringing in more blue, and feeling like I'm getting closer here to the effect that I want overall. And wobbly, wobbly camera. Sorry, you guys. Uh, I think I'm happy and I'm going to stick with it like this. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, every little bit helps. Um, I hope you like it and I will see you next time.